What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today I am super excited to talk about a playbook editor for NCAA Football 06 and 07. A good friend of mine, Josh, has the knowledge and skills to be able to put this app together so we can go in and edit existing plays in those games. I'm having a blast with it, of course, as you can imagine, me being a playbook nut. I can go into 06 and start making plays better, different, what have you. So what this video is going to cover is just the app briefly, because Josh explains it a whole lot better than I ever could, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. On top of, I'm going to show you some plays that I have created up to this point. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, you got to understand first that this is currently set up for the PS2 emulator only. We do not have a way of being able to take all this information and be able to put it like an actual disk drive and be able to play it on a PS2. I don't have the knowledge for that. Somebody may be able to come up with something. If they do, that is awesome. But just understand this is very emulator oriented. Okay, so let's talk about the app first. This is the app. Now, what I want to show you is where you can actually get this editor. So you can go over to my site. I'm going to show you my site first because i got a collection of a bunch of different things that may make things a little bit easier for you to kind of see everything. So you go over to the NCAA Football 06 page, and under the playbooks, you can select Playbook Editor. Now, I have this link on the 07 page as well. You select on that link, and then this is just a collection of all of my stuff. At the very top, it's about the editor. The second line you can select here, and this goes to the original thread. This is where Josh can go in and update, change, revise, whatever he needs to talk about regarding the editor. You go down to the fifth post as of today. It's the fifth post. This is his latest version of it. You select that zip folder. What contains within that is, of course, the editor, a few other files, and especially instructions on how to use the entire thing in great detail. Again, he can explain it better than I ever could, along with the video that he made about the first version. So it's not going to be exactly like with the latest version, but here is his video. This gives you at least a bit of a visual, but use that PDF. It explains everything perfectly. Okay, now below this video... I am going to put all of my personal stuff because over time, I'm going to create my own playbooks and such. I haven't got around to doing a whole lot of it yet. I'm not going to use anything for like my current dynasty with Hawaii. Maybe in the next dynasty, I may have something ready to go for it. As of now, as you can tell, I don't have anything below here, but I will make a list of files that I'll eventually create and I can share with you. You can just download it on top of any videos that I will talk about those particular files just whatever i come up with i'll put it right here okay so now here is the app in general now i'm going to just briefly talk about kind of how it works but we're really going to talk about some of the plays on the back end so what you kind of do is you go in the iso file which is the game file itself you export a couple of files and then you can go in and edit existing plays now remember you can't add new plays you can't take away plays you can't edit formations you can only again edit existing plays so once i export that particular playbook file and it's a laundry list of things you got to do to get to it but once you actually export it then you can go in and edit the plays for example it's very simple on how you could do some of this so here on the far left, I have a play that I want to actually edit. On the far right, we have the default playbook. So once I put that export file in here, it automatically knows that it's an 06 file. So it's only going to show me every formation for NCAA football 06. So let's go to the shotgun formations. Then I can go to a particular set like gun spread. And then I can select whatever play. And then from this point, this is where the magic happens. For example... Let's select this wide receiver, and I'm also going to select this wide receiver. So I want this wide receiver on the left to run the same route as the one over here on the right. Then I just click the blue button, and it does it. It's incredible. Now, it's just very super simple and intuitive to change things. You can also change the routes of offensive linemen, of quarterbacks. A route is a route is a route. And what I mean by that is you can literally select this right tackle and select this right tackle and make sure it's the same one. And as you can tell, it, it is already. 
but I can go in and change literally anything. But again, it's just existing plays. And that's briefly how the app works. It can only do so much, but it doesn't need to do a whole lot. You can change the names of some of these plays. For example, I can go to Shotgun Spread over here. And this is one of my existing files that I'm kind of tinkering with now. Notice I created a new play called Meals. This is the Meals concept over here. And you just select the name. You can replace it. You can go back to defaults. You can change the eligibility of receivers. Try to keep it realistic. I don't think it'll let you go beyond five, but you can have people block or around, go out for a, a pass. You could about do anything you could think of. So it's going to be very help for, helpful for you to use this along with all the play images that I have on my site. You can kind of go back and forth and see which ones you're looking for. Okay, now again, there's a, a little bit more about the app. But make sure you go and actually download that folder, read the instructions, and he will explain things a whole lot better than I ever could. So now let's talk about some plays that I've kind of come up with, okay? Let's start off with Ace Big Twins. I selected this particular formation, and look at here. Look here on the far right. We got Power O. This used to be the halfback read play. You remember I had the slanted inside of the zone blocking looking uh, blocking. It was just awful. The play never worked. And that halfback read play is in a lot of formations. But now what I've done was I edited a couple of these uh, offensive linemen. I had the left guard pulling because I selected a pulling guard route from another play. And now I can go in here and actually run power O, which is pretty cool to say the least. And it works just fine. Again, all you're doing is changing these routes. It's just coding that you can go in and just keep it really simple. And it's just amazing. So I can go in here and honestly, I can create about whatever I can think of. But the biggest thing is I changed a play that didn't work. I was able to fix it. I was able to at least do something to make it more viable. Okay. Now there's a couple other things I've done. We can go... Here is cross. I didn't change the name of it, but what I did do is change some of the routes. So you can select cross. I still have it like as a left hash play. And now I have some concepts, some route combos that give me a little bit extra to work with that I can get a little bit better yards. Now, some may be thinking, hey, you're just making things even easier on yourself. Well, not really because... This is the same place that the CPU can run. So I'm actually making better plays for everybody. So it's a wash on that end. Okay, now let's talk about other things. For example, like I formation normal. I was able to change PA fullback flat, just changed a couple of routes there. What I really wanted to talk about was if you go to like Flexbone normal. If you remember, for anybody who has ran a couple of these plays, like wingback sweep. This play doesn't work very well by default. A lot of it has to do with the backside guard just can't block well. But now he kind of can. Hopefully I can make this work. And I'm kind of able to. Now we got lost yardage. But look at this guard right here. In the default play, for whatever reason, this guard always gets pushed back like nine times out of ten. When that happens, it blows up your quarterback and the play dies. But here... He gets a consistent push. At least it's a little more realistic than what the default one looked like. Now, they made a good stop here, but that's all I care about. Was that guard actually making a play? So we can try this a couple more times, and I could probably get some better yardage. Something like that. But again, look at this left guard. Look what he done. And he was able to get a decent push. We didn't get blown up in the backfield all the time. And all I done there was I went back to the editor... And I went over to, let's see, let's go over to Flexbone. Let's go over to Normal. We can go to Wingback Sweep. And probably what I've done, like, let's go to a an I formation. That's fine. Normal. And we'll go to a Halfback Slam. What i literally done was I selected that left guard or some guard or some offensive lineman and came over here, and then I just replaced that route. Now, you would think, hey, that route looks exactly the same as the one over here. But for whatever reason, it's it's a different type of blocking scheme for that guard that just didn't work. But now I picked one that I know kind of works better and threw that in there. And what's the result of it? A little bit better blocking. Okay, so now let's talk about a few other plays. 
gun spread. This was the one formation where I changed a bunch of stuff. I, I picked one formation and really wanted to alter some things. I created brand new plays all together. Again, I just I took existing plays and changed some things around, changed the name, whatever. You look at stretch on the far left. Now I got five routes that are killer. They all work pretty well together. Inside draw. Let's talk about this one. This is probably my favorite aspect of this so far. Okay, now if you remember, halfback draw from shotgun does not work very well at all. It doesn't work well because the quarterback route, again, the quarterbacks have their own routes in this game. It was so slow. It took them forever to hand the ball off because, again, you're trying to pretend like you're in a passing play, but you're going to hand it off. I get that. The problem is it just never works in this game. But I was able to make it work now. And what I did, we can go back to the editor. You can go back to uh, shotgun. You go to gun spread. And you go to inside draw. And you go over to on the right. You go to the default one. We'll go to shotgun. We will go to spread. And we will go to inside draw. Notice the difference. The default quarterback looks like he's not doing anything. That is... Right now, the inside draw quarterback route. Over on here on the left, what I've done was I picked another running play that has a quicker release or quicker mesh point with the quarterback. And I'm pretty sure which one I used was this right here. I went over to week off tackle. And yes, look, it's the exact same route. So now it's going to be much quicker. So now you notice what happens here. Boom. Look how much quicker it is. That's incredible. So now inside draw works, and now I have an inside run game from the shotgun in NCAA Football 06. Just amazing. So now the CPU can use this a whole lot better. That'll give me nightmares trying to defend this. But now you can go in and just tinker with whatever you can think of. Just amazing. Now we can look at some other plays that I've done. I've updated PA read. I'm going to go back and fix a bunch of these because I know I could probably make these better. Let's look around some more. Slot seams. That's a brand new one that I've been tinkering with. Why stick? I thought about going up with a... I may create a pure air raid playbook one day. And there is the original why stick. So we can run some of this. This is an incredible concept. This is why everybody uses it. Because it works so well. Go over here. And I got a nice little man beater on the left. Going man again. We got a go round. If I can get it off in time, can he get the touchdown? Hopefully he can. at six points. It's really good against zone. I Hopefully I can show you some zone. If it doesn't show here, I want to show you what it can do. Yes. Let's go in up against a zone. Let's go here. Let's go up against cover two. I got several zone beaters that are really nice. There's my stick. A few yards. If I don't go to him, I can go to my little slant curl over the middle. Or I can go over here. Just the route spacing is incredible. Why? Because we can make it so with the playbook editor. Really neat stuff. Corner strike, I updated it a little bit. Look at week off tackle. If you remember week off tackle, it had that zone blocking scheme that just did not work very well. Now I pretty much turned it to a buck sweep from the old wing T offense. So you go to week off tackle. We can select just a random one from dime. And now I can go in here and have pulling guards. And now I can just really do some damage. Really cool stuff. So imagine the CPU been able to run some of this. That's going to just drive me nuts trying to stop some of it. So I'm making everything a whole lot better. So that's kind of one of my goals is to create a playbook, which is, when I say playbook, it is the entire file that goes into the game. It is every single play in the game that's considered one playbook. My goal is to be able to update one huge massive base playbook, create that, and then go in and make very specific things. Because I can go ahead and tell you, gun spread, it's a very popular formation. I got a whole lot more ideas beyond just 18 different plays. Okay, here's a couple other ones. Slot wheels, then you got QB choice. Look what I've done with QB choice. I got rid of the pulling right tackle. I have him straight blocking. Now I got a little bit better blocking because of that. Then I got the Mills play that we talked about earlier. It's just incredible all the things you could do. Gun normal. I created. I'm really excited about the run stuff. Now, you think me being a passing guy, I really love the passing concepts I do. But it really excites me to be able to create inside zone from gun normal. So we can select that. And now I got basic handoff right here. You don't have to use halfback draw to use an A-gap run. I can just use this play and get a guaranteed probably three yards if the blocking's halfway decent. 
Now I have basic A gap running from Slot of My Gun sets. Just so much fun to, to put this stuff together. You have no idea how this excites me. I mean, I can go on for years and then just create stuff over and over and over again. There's a couple of other things I fooled around with, like here's linebacker attack out of wide trips, and here's PA read. I updated it a little bit. I didn't like that delayed rep from the tight end, so I turned him into a flat. Just little things like that. So hopefully this excites you to kind of get into playing some of this, fooling around with the editor. Because I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to have a blast with this. Now, I do not know when I am going to actually showcase some of this in a dynasty. I'll figure that out in time. But what I can tell you is I'm going to have a whole lot of fun with it. So make sure you use it. You know, use your imagination. It's kind of limitless at this point what we can do with it. So I will put a bunch of links in the description below for everything that I've talked about. If I forget something, I'll add it later. And make sure you look at Josh's uh, th thread. He may update it over time. I'm sure he will. He can make things a whole lot better when he has time to do so. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.